Hello dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our 5 minutes revision for Mechanics of Machinery Midterm Exam, first year of Mechanical Engineering Department. Here we have our revision problem, typical example of 4 bar link mechanism. One of the links has an external point P and it's required to find the velocity of all points of interest and the angular speed for all links. First of all, before drawing the velocity diagram, we have to do the kinematic diagram. Kinematic diagram from the given dimension. Okay, as we have a four bar link mechanism, dimension, all dimensions are known, so we will draw it to scale to this dimension. You can select any arbitrary scale for these figures. For example, this nine meter can be written as 19 millimeter or whatsoever. So, the first link here is a fixed link that we will give it name link number one, this one, nine meter apart, and this is the pivot, or the crank, and this is the pivot for the opposite side, and here this is the crank at 45 degrees from the vertical line, and the lens is two meter with the same scale here I can find point A and this is link O A. Now it's required to draw the coupler 8 meter length from here. I open the compass with the same value according to the selected scale and draw an arc here and so from this and so from this point open arc of 4 meters and here we can find point B so this is our 4 bar link mechanism according to naming all links this is the fixed link the ground 1 the crank 2 the coupler 3 and the other opposite side the rocker 4 this is four bar link mechanism. We have here an extended point at link four and the same <coughs> line and the value five meters length and this is point point B. Okay. Now it's required to draw the velocity diagram. How can we draw the velocity diagram from the given? Here we have a given RPM of 20 RPM of the crank and the lengths of all lengths are 2 meter, 9 meter, 8 meter, 4 meter and 5 meter. Okay, and here we are. This is our mechanism. Okay, first of all, the given point that we know its speed and its direction is point A. The rotation speed will be normal to the crank and in this direction according to the rotation RPM. So, we need to find omega 2 is equal to 2 pi pi 60 in the RPM or the given RPM 2 pi 60 times 20 RPM is equal to 2 pi by 3 and this is omega 2 from this omega 2 we can find VA VA is equal to omega 2 times R and in this case R is the 2 meters to uh, omega 2 we have a known value of meter per second okay this is for point V. Now we need to find VB and VP. Okay, how we can find it? We will draw the velocity diagram. Here, the velocity diagram, we may select any point here and we will name it fixed point O. 
okay this is fixed point o and here the direction of va and the value here multiplied by any selective scale and this is point a and this is va okay now we need to find vb as we know any velocity for any point relative to another point v b is equal to v a plus v b about a here we know pretty well v a okay and we need to find v b v b is a tangential speed normal to the link o v b and b about a is normal to b a so from the ocean here we know the direction of the absolute velocity of vb and normal to this line we know the relative velocity vb about a so parallel to this line we will draw this line so this is va this is vb about a and this is point b so this is v b okay i can measure it in millimeter and multiply it by the scale that we have selected from the very beginning with drawing this velocity diagram and here we can know vb equal to a known value meter per second okay now we need to find the velocity of point p point p is an external point to the link o b so it's o b p with proportion 4 4 to 5 so this link o b we can consider this is the fall and we need to add a proportion of 5 so we can make any arbitrary line in any direction and measure on this line using your campus 4 after 4 5 this 4 corresponding to b so parallel this 5 corresponding to p so if this is 4 this is 5 this is b this is p you can use it 4 to 5 8 to 10 whatsoever that satisfies the same ratio so now we know this is point p this is o b p this is o b p if i want to know the absolute velocity of point p as i measure this value from here to here to find velocity b i can measure from here to here to find the velocity p so i can measure this value and multiply it by our scale we can find vp equal to known value meter per second okay now it's required to find the omega for link 3 and link 4 okay link 3 b about a i can know vb about a simply i can measure it and find vb about a is equal to certain value from measuring this vector as i measure this vector and then find its value i can say vb about a is equal to any velocity equal to omega r but this time r is r between a and b so this is omega 3 a and b link number 3 and i know this value equal to omega 3 times r a b is 8 meters so i can find omega 3 here red per second with the same concept i can find omega 4 omega 4 of link number 4 this is the omega rotating point b with respect to the ocean so this is point b and this is the ocean i can find it as vb equal to omega 4 times 
times what times R? R between B and O. If we measure phi, the R between B and O is 4 meters. So VB, I know it from the very beginning, it's equal to omega 4 times 4 meters. So here I can find omega 4 equal red per second. Here we can say we finish the problem. We find all points of interest. We find the linear speed of point B, linear speed of point P, scale from the diagram, rotational speed omega 3, rotational speed omega 4. From omega 3 and omega 4, we can find the RPM of 3 and 4 as we have the RPM of 2 in the givens. As we know, omega equal to pi by 60 times n, 3, 3. We know this value, we can find this value. Here, omega 4 equal to pi, 2 pi by 60, and 4, I know this value, I can find this one. So, this is 2 absolute linear velocity, and this is 2 RPM. Good luck, wish you all the best, and remember, you are the best, and you are with the best mechanical engineering department. Thank you very much for watching this video.